Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video I will demonstrate how uh, Elastic Charging Engine which is uh, a real-time uh, rating engine, uh, it's an Oracle communications product uh, built on top of Oracle Coherence uh, that is proven to scale to hundreds of hosts and thousands of uh, nodes in a cluster can also to be successfully uh, deployed, uh, configured and run on a, a very small device uh, like this. Uh, this is uh, a Raspberry Pi, uh, a $35 fully functional computer, uh, possibly the, the cheapest and the smallest uh, uh, computer available today. Uh, and uh, uh, if you look at this, it has uh, HDMI interface uh, that I have connected to my television, uh, using it uh, as my monitor, uh, Cat5 connectivity for my internet, a couple of USB that I'm using to connect my uh, mouse and uh, a keyboard, audio and video interface, a mini USB that I'm uh, using to power up this device. I'm using this laptop uh, as a power source. I'm not using this laptop for anything else. And uh, this SD card, uh, which is also the hard disk of this device. Uh, I have installed Raspbian uh, operating system, which is a GNU Linux and uh, uh, I will show you how I can install e uh, ECE and configure and uh, run a quick uh, simulation on this device. One thing that I wanted to point out is that this device doesn't have uh, too much of horsepower has only 512 megabytes of RAM and the Raspbian operating system uh, uh, comes bundled, uh, pre-bundled with Java uh, version 7 release 40 which is uh, at this time uh, is the latest uh, uh, Java release that we have. So if you look at the screen, I have already booted this device uh, uh, with Raspbian uh, Linux and let me uh, log in with uh, a default uh, account. So if you look at this, uh, 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 I am in and uh, for ECE to uh, work, uh, it only requires the core ECE, uh, it only requires two technologies. Uh, the first is Java and the other one is Groovy, uh, which is uh, another JVM language, but we have uh, a control shell uh, that gives access to the ECE services, ECE nodes, uh, so that we can start and stop and manage the processes, load the data. So that's purely written in Groovy, so uh, we had to install Groovy uh, on this device. Uh, I've done some homework uh, before this demo and uh, I have uh, already installed uh, Groovy 2.1.3 uh, uh, on this device. If also, uh, if you look at the Java version, uh, it is 1.7.0, uh, minor release 40. It's a client VM uh, 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 Java hotspot. Uh, then uh, what I have done is uh, I've created a directory. Uh, uh, target and uh, uh, this is the infrastructure uh, dot zip uh, 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 which is uh, the ECE the core uh, ECE uh, artifact now if you go and download uh, ECE from uh, portals like eDelivery uh, you will get uh, an OUI Oracle Universal Installer uh, that uh, typically you would use to uh, install uh, ECE but OUI is actually more functionally rich because uh, if ECE is, uh, is used uh, in an integrated environment with other systems, it makes the, the, those configuration much easier. But to, uh, to quickly get started, uh, you know, this is an infrastructure.zip that I built uh, from the source of ECE and um, we can very easily distribute this. And all I have to do, uh, and this is uh, another focus that I want to uh, uh, bring, is that how simple the installation of core ECE is. All I have to do is to just inflate uh, this uh, uh, jar and it will create all the uh, you know different directory structures, all the libraries that are required for ECE to work are pre-bundled so you don't have to install anything else outside of it. Uh, it has a bin directory which has uh, scripts that we can run, uh, lib for all the jar, config directory for all the uh, system configuration and a couple of other directories that um, you know if you look at uh, uh, you know if you look at uh, the structures uh, it has 
And one thing that I would like to show you is uh, the directory called sample data. So uh, uh, sample data is a directory where we uh, uh, it, this product comes pre-bundled with some sample customer data or sample referential data uh, like pricing and rate plans uh, uh, that you know we can use uh, for uh, the product simulation. So now here what I do is uh, the first thing I will go is go to the config directory and open uh, a file called uh, default tuning profile properties. So this uh, default tuning profile uh, properties has some pre-configured uh, configuration for uh, the JVM for each node uh, that you have in the ECE cluster. So if you look at this, uh, it comes with one gig of heap, uh, MS and MX, uh, but uh, the Raspberry Pi uh, only has uh, 512 uh, megabytes of RAM. So we need to make sure that the heap that we allocate can be committed uh, against uh, this uh, RAM. So let me change it to uh, something, let's say 128 uh, megabytes, uh, 128 megabytes, and a little bit. Uh, let's say this. So I save this. Uh, I go to uh, the bin directory. Uh, the U mode uh, is not uh, properly set here, so I need to make sure that all these uh, scripts uh, are executables. So I change the file permissions here, and then we run the ECC command. So if you look at the ECC command, uh, this is uh, the groovy shell that I was talking about. Uh, it throws an exception here, line, line number 17, it says set FACL not found. Now set FACL is a script uh, uh, often available in most of the Linux uh, 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 versions. It actually sets the file permissions. Uh, and uh, uh, it's only used or required uh, if you're using Groovy or, or this whole um, shell and the product in a much more locked down uh, uh, environment. Uh, for the matter of Raspberry Pi, we don't have to worry about uh, that. So we can safely ignore uh, 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 this uh, error. Uh, uh, the second line is says starting Oracle communication uh, elastic charging engine 11 to uh, zero, a snapshot. This is uh, uh, an artifact that I built from the source. 11.2 version is the last released version of the product called Amazon. Uh, and a snapshot is uh, something that, uh, you know, it's a nightly build, so uh, it's not tagged with the, uh, with the minor release. So uh, it will come uh, momentarily, and then we'll be uh, uh, ready uh, to run uh, our commands to start uh, ECE. So uh, if you look at it, uh, the shell uh, is up, and all I have to do is to issue uh, a command uh, ECS uh, start ECS1. Uh, so if you look at the ECS ECE topology properties file under the config directory, it comes with some uh, pre-configured uh, cluster nodes, and ECS1 is the name of one of the nodes. So all I have to do is uh, issue a command start ECS1 and it will start uh, uh, the ECS uh, services and also uh, the coherence cluster uh, underneath it. Yes, yeah, so uh, the ECS1 uh, node has started and uh, it tells you what the process ID is and uh, this node is also JMX enabled. So the next step of this process is to load the sample data that we have. Uh, 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 so the only command that is required here uh, is a start loader and as you see uh, all I have to do is to tab and it will uh, fill uh, the command. So the start loader will load uh, not only the customer data uh, but other referential data, some uh, sample uh, rate plans, pricing information, some other configuration data. It loads all, um, uh, all of them up uh, in the coherence caches. So I will issue the start loader command. It should finish uh, in just a few seconds and then we'll be ready to uh, run a quick uh, simulation. So as you see the loader has uh, completed, uh, one interesting message here is this, it says G1 GC is disabled in this release. Uh, uh, ECE uh, have done a lot of uh, uh, GC tuning uh, and all our activities have been around G1 garbage collector and um, uh, if you look at the default tuning properties that comes uh, in under the config directory has all sorts of uh, parameters that are that we have uh, 
we have come up with uh, for a very predictable latency. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the hotspot version that we have on this device, uh, the G1 GC is uh, disabled, it's not available uh, on this device uh, with this version of Java. But it doesn't matter because, uh, you know, for the uh, kind of throughput and latency that you uh, are building an application for, you know, a device like this, uh, and if you have better understanding of CMS, very likely you can use CMS as well, or leave it to default, uh, which in majority of cases actually works better than uh, any other tuning. So uh, we are ready for our next step. So, and this is the point where, you know, you have to open up your imagination. So you have a fully functionally, uh, fully functional uh, uh, rating uh, engine running on uh, this device, right? So now you can uh, create uh, some requests and uh, send uh, this device to uh, to rate or to charge those requests. So you know how do you use it? Uh, how do you use this device? And how which input source do you uh, want to charge against? Is all up to your imagination. But from uh, for the sake of uh, this demonstration, what I will do, I will uh, run uh, a, a, a simulation, uh, and all I have to do is to start uh, a, a, a simulator that comes bundled with an application that simulates uh, traffic like you are calling uh, uh, a phone number, uh, or you are sending an SMS uh, to somebody or you're um, opening a data session to download content from the internet. So it actually creates that kind of uh, request and uh, uh, there's some uh, test uh, uh, simulation configuration that you will find uh, under config directory. So all I have to do, uh, similar to the other two commands, I have to run uh, start a simulator. It should come up in a few seconds and then we will uh, finish up uh, with, the, uh, with the final simulation. So uh, the simulator has started, uh, but this simulator actually uh, it just it starts the process. It doesn't run any simulation. Uh, uh, so there's one intermediary step, uh, though it's not required uh, uh, functionally, but uh, you can do uh, an init simulator, which uh, kinds of uh, warms up uh, the client layer of ECE. Uh, uh, so it makes it faster because it, if you don't do this step it takes a little uh, while uh, for this client layer of ECE to warm up uh, it brings in some um, small set of referential data uh, locally uh, and some other uh, initialization of the thread pool executor uh, though it's not required and very likely if you're using ECE uh, pre-integrated with some mediation layer the likelihood of uh, this step already being uh, programmatically called uh, is very high. Uh, so I'll skip this uh, uh, step and go directly to simulate uh, simulator. So once I issue this command what I'll go is I'll tail the log and it's a very short uh, duration uh, test and it will tell you what uh, the throughput uh, uh, that was achieved uh, on this device uh, on this simulation. So uh, it will take just f a few more seconds and then uh, will be done uh, with this demo. Uh, thanks. So this is a log uh, file I'm tailing uh, for the simulator. So if you look at this, the simulator has ended and if you concentrate here, uh, the throughput is 38 operations per second on this uh, small little device, which I believe is pretty cool. You know, there's no other tuning done, nothing, just vanilla install, a little bit change in the heap size uh, and here you go. So, you know, when we talk about the scalability, we always think about how a product scales up to multiple hosts to a bigger cluster. But uh, if you look at uh, this demonstration, uh, the same product code base without changing a single line of code, I am also able to run uh, this product on this device with small, such a small and cheap computer. Uh, and this does talk about what, how low the memory footprint of uh, elastic charging engine is uh, that is proven to scale on many many hosts to a very very huge cluster size uh, it was benchmarked for about 1200 to 1500 operations per second per core uh, it's, it's, it's a massive product it's it's it's, it's an internet of things but can also be 
deployed on such a device. So that talks uh, a lot about uh, this product. And with this demo, uh, enjoy.